Hey, Simon here, and today I would like to talk about a little thing which bothered me for a long time in the old Cascade uh, particle system. Here, this is Niagara, and what we see, what, what our goal is, is to initialize a particle uh, as a rectangular form and not square uh, with different sizes, but the um, uh, ratio of height and width should be the same all the time. Um, so, in, uh, in Cascade, you can, of course, uh, set a particle to rectangle instead of square, right, to, to get the form. And then you can set initial size, for example, to this, 350 to 100. And then you get your, um, yeah, your aspect ratio for the particle. But as soon as you set this to uniform, because you want to have randomized sizes, but always with the same aspect ratio. And as soon as I type in these values, for example, here, and I, and I double the those ones here, the maximum values, then you see that the aspect ratio changes all the time because there is, oh wait, one second, this was wrong here. Um, still, the aspect ratio changes all the time um, because there is a random value um, chosen independently of those uh, in between, independently of the axis, and yeah, then you end up with this. And I never found out how to fix this actually. The initial size didn't help me because um, here nothing happens actually until you set bigger values than you set in the first initial size. So if I uh, use your value uh, above 200 here, so for example 150, oh, it, oh actually that's changing something. I guess this is because uh, the value is bigger than 100 because when I set a value smaller than 100, then this does nothing to me as far as I know. But when I set a value higher, then I override this somehow, but still, it doesn't give me the result I want. Then we have, of course, the size scale. But when I do this, the size is uh, calculated for every frame, it seems. So, yeah, I mean, here I could lock the axis, and usually it's set to this one here. And I can lock the axis, so now I guess the ratio would be okay, actually. But... As we see here, um, yeah, it's calculated every frame. And I only want this have calculated once at uh, the yeah, lifetime of the particle, when the particle starts. And yeah. uh, as you see, <laughs> this doesn't help me a lot here. Um, yeah, and I mean, do I miss anything here? Like an only execute um, at run, uh, at spawn time? I don't uh, think so. And then, of course, we have the size by life, but this doesn't help me at all. I mean, I can let the particle grow, um, yeah, but that's not what I want. I want different sizes at the beginning. So here, uh, this, is, this is really cool, how it really shows the flexibility of the system. So let me set first um, a value here, set local value. So um, the sprite size is, for example, 350 by 100. Oh, okay, this works really well and we can of course do the same uh, like in Cascade with uniform ranged and set this to 350 by 100 and then uh, a different value, let's say, I don't know, 90 by 30 and then we have the same problem. We have the same problem like in Cascade, okay, random values are chosen here. But what we can do instead of using a uniform right here, we can say um, we want to multiply two vectors. And now, the size is, um, uh, is dependent on those two vectors, A and B, and they are multiplied and the result will give the particle size. So, for example, we could say um, uh, 350 by 100, yeah, and when we set now both values to 2, then it's just double the size. Okay, and here comes the really cool, because the, the really cool uh, flexibility of Niagara, because every one of those you can define in a different way again, right? What you can do is, you can say, hey, I don't want to have a vector 2 here. Give me a vector 2 out of a float so that both values of this vector um, will have the same value, basically. So now, what you see here is, we multiply A, this one, by a value, for example, 1 or 2 to make it uh, bigger, or 3, right? And you can chain this up as much how you want because here we want to have a random value and this means you can now say give me a uniform ranged float from 1 to 3 for example 
And now you see that our aspect ratio here is um, always kept the same, but multiplied by a float, which is converted into a 2D um, value. And in that case, the first and the second value would yeah, have the same value. Um, and uh, the value we, we feed into uh, B is randomized here. You could also use a curve if you want, depending whatever you want. And this is really cool. I didn't realize that you can chain up these values in such a way and create uh, cool stuff with it. That's, uh, that's really nice. So yeah, I um, hope that helped. Now we see that we have an initial particle size of um, yeah, of uh, yeah, the different sizes, uh, but still we keep our aspect ratio we wanted to have um, at the beginning. Cool. Yeah, hope that helped. Uh, bye bye.